child this is Olive Destiny and in this video I will be sharing with you all everything about my 360 lace frontal wig. Did I say that right? I think if I do this on the screen. But yeah I'll be sharing with you all everything about my 360 lace frontal wig. 360 meaning that I do have lace all the way around to put this up into a high bun, high ponytail. Just pretty much a lot of versatile looks but I do have tracks here in the middle. I'll be sharing with you all the entire process I took to get to this point. Seeing me wear this wig, bleaching the knots, shampooing, conditioning, air drying, styling. I did a little bit of tweezing off camera and I did kind of define the baby hairs a little bit more but it did for the most part come with baby edges here in the front as well as in the back. I haven't really worn this up in the bun yet. Let's go ahead and get right into the video. I will set this wig to review from My Crown Wigs and when you get yours in the package it will come in about, I think the shipping was about three to four days. I was dealing with school and finals and everything like that anyway so I was not like anxiously waiting at the door for it every day but the shipping is definitely pretty quick on this one and the exact wig that I am wearing. All the information will be down in the information bar down below. I am wearing the hair type is Brazilian Virgin. The length is 18 inches. The hair color is a natural color. The hair texture is silk straight. I'm reading it straight from the package here. Uh, the cap size is small and the cap construction is a 360 wig. I keep looking a little bit behind me because I don't have a monitor and my camera cut off like three times while I was recording so I would hate to do this whole intro and it's not working. I wore this wig during my last week of school to go ahead and get comfortable wearing it because I knew I wanted to wear it for graduation so if you saw my graduation photos on Instagram this is the hair that I was wearing and I also wore this hair on my graduation vacation. Special thank you to My Crown Wigs for sponsoring this video also. All the information about this wig will be down below if you're interested. I'm just going to quickly put it on my head. I haven't bleached the knots yet or anything. I really just want to see what it will look like straight out of the package for some that may want to wear them straight out of the package. And there's combs on both sides that I'm just taking under my braids. Okay. Ugh. Okay, so this is the hair straight out of the package. The hair is really soft. I'm going to go ahead and bleach the knots and stuff like that because I want to and I think it'll just be a little bit more convenient for me versus trying to do concealer and everything. And there are straps in the back. I just did not adjust them just yet. This is the back, which I guess I have to really work with that to figure out how to get this to all stay down like without coming up. I think it does have some baby hairs in it. I'm going to go ahead now and bleach the knots. So if you look closely, the little black dots that you see, those are the knots that we're going to bleach. And the reason for bleaching these is just to get more of a realistic, natural look for when you begin to part the frontal. You don't have to bleach the knots. It's definitely optional. There are other methods that you can use just kind of like doing concealer or just using some form of makeup that matches your skin tone to disguise the knots. I'm using 40 volume developer and two scoops of the powder. I did not really measure the developer. I'm just kind of getting it to a pasty consistency. That way it doesn't bleed through the lace and then bleach the hair. I did allow this to sit for 30 minutes and then I proceeded to rinse off the bleach using warm water. And after that I will use neutralizing shampoo along the lace. And then I'll proceed to go ahead and wash the entire wig using um, just some color safe shampoo. And then I'll do the conditioning using my Chloran conditioning hair mask. And you don't have to use a color safe shampoo. You can definitely use any nice quality shampoo that you have. Since I didn't do a toning step, which is what's done to remove the brassiness of the lace to make it look more realistic to your skin tone. Um, that's why I use the Color Safe Shampoo. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, but use any nice quality shampoo that you have. This is a comparison to show you all the before and after of bleaching the knots. And now you can see through my fingers that the knots are not there and it looks very realistic at this point. Now I'm going to go ahead and condition the hair, which is the same step that I would do to my own hair. After I shampoo it, I usually condition my hair, so why not condition the wig, you know? So I pretty much just applied that through sparingly with my hands and then I combed it through with a wide tooth comb and I'm just going to allow the hair to air dry since I didn't plan on really wearing it until the next day. I didn't bother blow drying it and I'm just defining my part while the hair is wet because it definitely makes the hair easier to work with and you can get your part to lay flat while you have the hair wet. 
For styling, I chose to do flat iron curls. You can use a curling iron, curling wand, hot rollers, whichever method you would like to take to style your hair. I'm just using the flat iron curls because I feel that I'm kind of straightening the hair as I proceed to curl it. And the way that you curl the hair with the flat iron, you kind of wrap the hair around in a backward motion. You twist the flat iron as you pull the hair, pull the flat iron down the strands of the hair, which eventually curls the hair once you release the iron. And I am using my new me flat iron from the Power Couple set. I will leave a link down below if you're interested in this iron. This wig has four combs and two adjustable straps in the back, but for extra security, I'm going to go ahead to add an elastic band to the wig and the way that I do that I hold the elastic and I stretch it from ear to ear and then when I let that go it shows me exactly the amount that I will need for a snug fit and then I pretty much just use some needle and thread and I sew that into where I've measured where my ears will be and that will help to hold the wig down tight and next up I'm just going to remove the excess lace from the perimeter of the wig there is extra lace along the entire perimeter since this is a 360 wig and I did choose to cut off the lace from the back before applying it to my head to pretty much remove the rest from the front I just figured that it would be easier this way and definitely take your time doing this my clip is in fast motion but I definitely took my time to prevent removing too much lace and cutting into the hairline and this is also the point where I will go ahead and remove the extra lace from around my ear as well that way the wig can lay flat around that part. The only thing I haven't done at this point is kind of secured the sides down. I'm not really going to glue this down because I have been wearing it for about three weeks now. I'm going to go ahead and care for my own hair under here. When I was securing it down I was just using Gorilla Snot that my little sister had so I just borrowed that from her. I'm just going to use the same edge timer that I always use which is the 24 hour edge timer by Evan New York. I want my part to be a little more straight but I don't know what my red tail comb is. So, alright, so as far as my edges, I did take out some edges a little bit after tweezing and whatnot. Just gonna take a toothbrush and do my edges how I normally would, but not too dramatic. When I was using the Gorilla Snot, I would just put it on here like that, pull it, and just hold it for a little while, and then it would seal. When you let it back down, this is what you would have. And really, the laying of it, since it's like covered up anyway, is really just to hold it down. The only side that's being seen is this little area right here. We haven't done that side just yet. Don't freak out. Stay calm, honey. Stay calm. This is the same thing on the other side while I'm running my mouth. See so, you now I'm just kind of combing that back into the edges. Even though I created edges throughout the entire thing, I don't style all of them. I don't feel like I have edges all over. Obviously you will perfect this. I'm just giving you all the general idea, okay? General, sweetie, general. Make sure yours is slaying hard. She messing her makeup up. Kim, what is she doing? What is she doing? She doesn't know how to do hair. She's a liar. I don't know why I never edit all that out. Just talking trash, man. So I'm just gonna tie this. I just kind of squeeze my scarf really tight like so. When I really only want to do the edges. This is in my way. Still in my way. I'm just gonna take this piece right here. I'm not gonna flat iron the entire thing because I don't end up having to recurl it. But I'm just pulling the root back flat. And then this side that's right here near the part. Taking the tight side of the comb. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and remove the scarf now. Definitely let this sit a little longer if you would like. But since I'm recording, obviously, <laughs> I'm just going to let mine sit only for a few minutes. And before I begin to run my hands through the curls, just taking a very small amount of my hair oil. And that just helps to tame down the frizz, grab all the ends. And this is when I began to just kind of lightly style the curls as well. I did lightly cut some layers. I just took some scissors and just do 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 like that. Probably nothing that you haven't seen on YouTube already. Yeah. I had a look at the back, so be nice, okay? Be nice. It pretty much just holds it down with the combs on the side, the comb in the back, as well as the straps. And by having the elastic band on here, it's pretty much secure. But the hair was washed since my vacation. Other than that, what else? Let's do the intro. <laughs> Questions and comments, be sure to leave all of that down below. And let me know if y'all like this hair on me because I'm kind of feeling it. Your girl is feeling this. I like her, okay? <laughs> let me pull both sides to the front so y'all can see what that looks like. Definitely get connected with me on Instagram and Twitter for when I'm not here on YouTube. I will put that right here on the screen. What else? I 
think that's it. Relevant videos, I will also leave down in the information bar down below as well. And as always, I thank you all so, so, so much for watching. Bye. I'm not gonna kidnap you. <laughs> and then I'm gonna be crying. My daddy said somebody gonna kidnap me because of the way I was dressed when I left. And really, I was just dressed in summer clothes and my short shorts and this top. Anybody gonna kidnap your girl? Literally, your girl, dad. <laughs> <laughs> Camera's about to die. Look at like I caught a lit. <laughs> That's just how I'm living.